In the previous video, we included the reactive forms module in app.module.ts. In this video, we will start the implementation of a reactive form from app.component.ts. In the component class, I am including a new property named form. This is going to be of type form group. This class is not getting listed in the dropdown. I am clicking on the blue bulb icon and selecting the add import option after which we can see the respective class getting imported from at angular slash forms. Following the property definition, I am including an assignment operator after which I am creating a new form group object using new keyword and calling its constructor. As constructor parameter, I am including an empty object with open and close curly braces. I am ending the line with a semicolon and saving the file. Let me explain the importance of form group class. In HTML, we have form tag and within the form tag, we have the form elements. When working on template driven form, we linked the form element with the ng form directive. Check out the video titled ng form in this tutorial to know more about ng form. In template driven form, the form element is linked to ng form. Similarly, in reactive form, the form element will be linked to form group class. Hope this helps to understand the role of form group class. There is an interesting link between ng form and form group. I am opening the documentation of ng form directive in angular.io. In the properties section, there is a property named form which is of type form group. Form group is a TypeScript class available in at angular slash forms folder. This class is what we are directly using for a reactive form by creating an object for it in app.component.ts. Form group class contains all necessary implementation required for your form, hence ng form uses it internally. Hope this explanation helps to understand the importance of form group class. In app.component.ts, include the import for form group, then define and initialize the form property using form group constructor, save the file and then move on to the next video.